Thanks because Wake Forest University is continuing their road to the College Baseball World Series. And they're closer than they've been in a long time. The team won the first round of regionals over the weekend by winning all three games by a combined score of 48 to 7. They'll now face Alabama in the Super uh, Regionals uh, on Saturday at the couch. And if they win, they're headed to the World Series for the first time in 70 years. That's a huge deal. And our Jackie Pascal is now live out there this morning there at the ballpark. Jackie, I mean, you've got one of the best seats in the stands right now. You have to let us know how the Demon Deacons are preparing <laughs> for Saturday's big home game. Yeah, they're very excited going into this weekend. Obviously, we're taking cover. It is coming down right now. That rain that Brian was just mentioning, and he was also mentioning that code red alert. We're not going to be outside for too long, but I am here with uh, Brendan Jones, who is the Senior Associate Athletic Director. So uh, let's get the news part out of the way with that code red alert. Uh, Brendan, you were saying it's still kind of TBD what they're doing as far as outdoor practice today because of that. Yeah, we have a great sports medicine staff that I'm sure is working with the coaches to determine the proper, you know, course of action in, in, in regards to that. Mm -hmm. so. Well, let's move on to the fun news. We were just yeah. talking about how historic this season has already been. The postseason, especially coming off of this weekend, 48 to 7 outscoring the opponent. How is Wake feeling? How are the how's the team doing? Yeah, uh, Wake's feeling great. The team's feeling great. The community is feeling great about it as well. We saw record attendance crowds over the weekend with the regional. Uh, I, mean, I mean, even Saturday going into Sunday morning, we had about 2,500 fans here on uh, at, at 2 a.m. to yeah. see the win. Um, and then that excitement has led into, for this weekend hosting the Super Regional, we sold out of our uh, David F. Couch ballpark in about uh, 12 hours. So uh, the excitement is there. Everybody's feeling great about it. Yeah, so the actual event sold out for Saturday. That's the only game that we know exact timing of. That's noon on Saturday here. Um, but I hear that there is another option for fans going on just up the hill. Can you explain? There is. And because of all the excitement and, and the energy around the team and the run we're making, uh, we have created a fan zone tailgate right adjacent to the ballpark at gate five here, um, right, right near Truist Field, um, starting at 10 a.m. on Saturday. We're going to have a projection of the game. You're as close to the action as you can get without being inside the ballpark. Probably able to uh, hear the inside of the ballpark oh yeah. from up there. <laughs> yep, and we're going to have it. It's going to be right in real time with the game, so everybody's going to be cheering. It's going to be loud all around the ballpark. Um, encourage everyone to come out. We're going to have games for kids. We're going to have food and drinks. Um, R&D is bringing out some of their adult beverages for fans. Uh, it's just going to be a great time. And free admission for that, right? Free admission for that. Yeah. Uh, Tell me more about this team, because this is a very special era for Wake Forest baseball. Uh, even just some of those games, I mean, the pitchers were doing incredible runs, striking out left and right. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about how the chemistry is for this team right now. Yeah, well, they're clicking, I mean, in every facet of the game. It's awesome to see. Um, they're, they're energized, they're focused, but they're also having fun at the same time. It's a long season. Uh, you have to have fun, but uh, the focus is there, and they know the goal. Yeah, uh, so they're facing off against Alabama this weekend. What is that face off going to look like? They're 16 seed, right, yep. Alabama? That's right. So we have Alabama coming to town. Um, they are the 16 seed. Um, of course, Wake Forest being the one seed. Yeah. Um, so we're excited. They're uh, both good programs and just looking forward to a great weekend here at the couch. But if we win this weekend, that means you're going on to the College World Series for the right. first time in a very long time, yeah. right? What does that mean for the history of, of the Deacons? Oh, it's all, it, it means everything for the program, for Wake Forest, for the community, uh, for the state. I mean, it, it's, it's incredible. So um, it, it would be just an unbelievable experience for everybody. Yeah. All right, Brendan Jones, thank you so much for speaking with yeah. us here this morning. Again, we're undercover from the rain. Let's go ahead and talk about this weekend, though. We have a graphic we want to pull up for you. A reminder, all the details about Saturday's game. That's the only timing we have confirmed as of right now, but that is Saturday noon. You can watch that on ESPN. You can go over to the watch party right up the hill here from uh, the couch, and then obviously sold out here. So it's going to be high energy uh, this weekend. Congratulations already for getting to this point, but excited to see where you guys go from here. For now, I'll toss it back to you all in the studio.